So it's been about a little over a month worth of chapters since I've talked about My Hero Academia. I'm going to be talking about since the very end of the Deku and Bakugo fight, the outcome of that. One big question I want to ask everybody because I'm kind of curious. I haven't talked to you guys in a while about My Hero Academia. How did you feel about that finale? How did you feel about Bakugo still defeating Deku? Were you disappointed with that? Personally, I think in order for the story to continue on, it makes sense because that's going to drive Deku even further. And at the same time, even though Deku has been doing a great job with strategy and everything, Bakugo is still a powerhouse, so if Bakugo would have lost, it kind of would have been like, so they're gonna just sweep Bakugo to the side, I mean, personally, the way it was done, I love the fact that it wasn't just an ass pull, I love the fact that Deku did everything he could, that was what he worked for, he worked for being able to go up to 8%, it wasn't just all using All Might's power, granted, that's All Might's quirk that he passed down, so on and so forth, but he used what he's built up up until this point, and unfortunately wasn't enough, but still, I felt as though that fight was pretty damn awesome it wasn't the greatest thing in the world and i know there's some people that's probably sore because they wanted deku to win but i think that's only going to further drive deku and even bakugo at the same time because he's like well this little shit was giving me a run for my money and stuff so i need to keep it up and i think that also gave character development of bakugo because after the fight they were talking there and he was kind of understanding the situation a little bit more and i think the blame that he put on himself because of him getting captured what happened to all might kind of is going to subside a little bit it'll still be there but i think he grew up from it i think that was a great fight for it development if anything which is an awesome thing getting character development out of a fight i think that's what it served in order to you know carry things on in the story it was giving development for both of these kids to kind of open their eyes about stuff now i don't know if we'll ever get another rematch after this maybe this was kind of the author saying yeah you, you'll get this fight and maybe at the end of the series we'll see one more time because that's technically the second fight they had well I guess we would need a tiebreaker right because Deku in that little competition he had Deku beat him in this fight a street brawl Bakugo beat him so now it's kind of like we need a t -t 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 tiebreaker and of course they had the punishments you know the working and cleaning up in three days afterward of that but we got an introduction to the big three and as soon as I hear the big three I think of oh Naruto One Piece and Bleach oh shit but no, these characters, Medio, Tamaki, and Hado, and I'm probably not going to remember their names again, because aside from Medio, like, I had to look at my notes right here and say, hey, what, what are their names? But, yeah, the, the big three, basically, these are some of the top elites of UA. They're not teachers, they're students or whatever, so it was interesting to see people that are ahead in the classes and not only see the rookies and see what these people are capable of. Now, one of the things is Medio. I think it's a little controversial in the sense that they're talking as if this dude is already like out there, he's an official hero, and he's still a student of UA because they were saying he's essentially the closest to being number one. So wait a minute, is he uh, ahead of Endeavor? Because, well, Endeavor is now technically number one, so he's probably around the number two status, and if that's the case, it's like, this motherfucker can graduate right now and be one of the greatest heroes of all time, and honestly, because I saw the, you know, controversy, a lot of people saying Meteor's powers is like Obito, what the fuck, if you don't know about Obito from Naruto, basically, he could pass through walls and teleport here and there because of his powers. I love the explanation that we got from Meteor, the fact that his quirk is not broken, because Obito shit is like, yo that's some hacks power how do you fight that medio is all strategy yes he has a quirk that seemingly he could pass through objects but all he really does is use strategy he falls down into the ground and because of mass and matter he pops back out and it's like holy shit so this guy actually worked for his shit and he reminds me of like an overpowered deku in a way three years from now because think if in his first year at ua deku is already you know pretty awesome at the end of the day medio said that he was the one that really impressed him the most if deku trains and you know a couple years past he'll probably be on that level because that's really what medio is like you see the flashback of medio like how he trained and everything is like this dude worked for his shit and i'm glad that it's not just a bsr his quirk is carrying him all the way no the motherfucker got his shit on his own then tamaki or tamakai i, I don't know how you pronounce his name whatever i'm kind of curious what his powers are as well as hado because we didn't really get to explore them much we know about medio but those two it was kind of like one of them is socially awkward stares at a fucking wall while he's talking to people and then the other one is asking a billion questions like how big are your balls like hado relax girl relax and i guess another question you gotta ask because there was that portion where we were seeing that all might was recommended constantly like yo come to ua if you're looking for a successor for the power or whatever and it seems as though medio would have been a great candidate 
But one of the things is, Deku, again, is like an early Meteo to me. From what I see is like, they both are working for this shit. Meteo, I think with his power, if you combine all of it, it's like, not only would he have had his power that he has, you know, and he's strategized and he's training properly or whatever, but imagine him popping out of that wall and then also having the strength of all might. He would have been absolutely hacks. And at the same time, he seems like a decent dude. I'm kind of curious what his flaws are. I guess people would argue his flaws in general is the fact that his quirk, it just seems as though he's falling into the fucking ground right that's that's not something you would want but i'm kind of curious what else would be the reason why all might never said you there i, I choose you hey you pokemon no <laughs> instead of you know going with deku why didn't he choose medio so i'm looking forward to seeing medio's limits or seeing his shortcomings well i'm not looking forward to it but I i'm expecting them shall i say and finding the reason why all might never just said fuck it i choose you and then we have more setups with the internships so we're probably gonna see some of you know the classmates maybe leave and go out on internships and see them doing some big things which will be great for experience and development and all that jazz so it was a nice introduction honestly i wasn't that interested in it to be honest with you because it felt like hey we just had that exam let's get another exam type of deal even though it's not really an exam it's just not the most exciting stuff talking about internships in a manga so i was like eh. i mean medio made it a little bit more exciting towards the end when we actually started to get introduced to sir which sir seemingly is the old sidekick to all mike and was the internship that medio took he took it on the sir so i mean that'd be a great internship the sidekick to all might i mean if you can't get all might who's the next best thing somebody that was around and close but it is interesting the difference between sir and all might all might is just golly gee you know top of the line superman type of deal this dude is with a suit he's serious business he's kind of like what Ida is gonna be when he gets older so i was like how the fuck did he change dramatically was he totally different or was it that all might needed that balance of like since he's kind of a goofy you know weird guy having a normal straight edge you know straight up suit and tie type of deal worked well to have like best of both worlds and i'm also imagining that that's going to be deku's teacher as well i don't know how that'll work because again he's totally different from all might but it seems to be going that direction and then towards the end of the latest chapter we get a little bit more of shigaraki which i've been craving more i'm not gonna lie it's like we got a little bit of him at the end of the last exam and then we didn't get much else and then like oh the end of this one is like yeah shigaraki it seems as though he's preparing so whenever we have another you know invasion from the villains or some huge encounter it looks as though shigaraki is going to be 10 times more fierce and have a huge army at his side because he's even recruiting at the end of the latest chapter because we got overhaul now in the villain alliance and it looks as though it's going to be insane these chapters the past few weeks they haven't been the most exciting i think medio and the big three and finding out medio's abilities was the best thing of course the latest chapter at the end she got Aki, that was cool too but let me know what you guys think first of all what do you think about the big three how do you feel about medio's powers do you think that he would have been a better successor to all for one than deku until we see his shortcomings i'm not going to comment on that but from what i could see thus far based on his you know consistency and training and you know owning a skill and he's a third year and he's already that awesome if he would have one for all which i think i've been saying it wrong this entire time but if he would have one for all i think he would have been a better suit because like his quirk alone is amazing to you know pop out and then if he has that strength to knock someone out he, he would have been hacked so i think it, as of right now from what we know medio probably would have been better suited for the power at the very least not as a character because we don't know too much about medio but with the power he probably would have been better than deku any thoughts on the internships what do you think about sir you think that the internship that deku is going to take up is going to be with sir why do you think sir is so different from all might having the suit and tie and looking like a business official type of deal any overall thoughts of the past month or so of chapters of my hero academia internship thing isn't the most exciting thing but the victory was kind of interesting even though we only really seen a showcase of one of their abilities and yeah shigaraki is recruiting people hopefully we get some villain shit coming up in the near future with these internships but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and stalk my facebook to get more when the video ends i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.